Chapter 106 Half his life savings gone to dust. Only his vitality remains for eternity. A day later. On the futon, Fang Yuan sat cross-legged. A large face-sized white light was an arm's distance from his face, silently floating. Fang Yuan took out piece after piece of primeval stones from his money bag and threw them into the light ball. The white light contracted, but became more eye-piercing. When it shrunk to a fist size the white light was glaring, and Fang Yuan could only squint his eyes to observe it. Probably the last piece, Fang Yuan played around with the primeval stone in his hand, knowing that the critical moment was here. He tossed the primeval stone into the light ball. He could vaguely see the primeval stone floating around in the light ball, like snow dropping into boiling water, constantly melting away. A large amount of rock powder fell on the ground. The primeval stone vanished, and the light ball exploded. With a bam, the three goo worms flew in three directions. One fell on the bed, while the other two flew to the walls, and then dropped to the ground. Refining the moon glow goo had failed. Fang Yuan's heart sank. He quickly moved his finger, calling back his goo worms. The moonlight goo and little light goo wavered their way to Fang Yuan as they floated around, slowly landing in his palm, but the other little light goo had no response. It laid on the ground, its milky white five star shaped body gradually dissipating into the air. After a few breaths time, it had completely vanished with no lingering traces. This was the price of a failed fusion according to the different fusing recipes, the goo worm might get injured as a result, or when unlucky, might even die. Even with his rich experience, adding on to the fact that Fang Yuan could multitask and had the right recipe, there was still a chance of failure. Fang Yuan was not upset, he had seen such an event many many times. He had already performed to his best, and if the result still failed, it could only be attributed to luck. Luckily, it was not the moonlight goo that died, but the little light goo. I can just buy another one from the shop, it is easy to replenish. If the moonlight goo died, it would not be easy trying to get another one. He had lots of cash now, even if one little light goo died, he could just purchase another one. Next, he inspected the moonlight goo and the remaining little light goo. On the surface of both goo, it was slightly dimmer than usual. This was the result of an injured goo due to fusion failure. Once a goo worm gets injured, the chances of a successful fusion would drop drastically. I have to wait for them to recover before I continue trying. Fang Yuan knew that haste does not bring success, and quickly kept the two goo. He estimated the time, around at least three days later would he be able to perform another try. Cultivation did not end there. Fang Yuan opened his right palm. His left hand was pale, and on his palm, there was a green insignia with a grass pattern, like a dark green tattoo. Fang Yuan's thought moved, and the primeval essence in his aperture began to move, like light red fog flowing towards the insignia on his left arm. The green insignia was instantly brought alive. From Fang Yuan's palm, the tip of the grass emerged, followed by the round leaves of nine dark green leaves, lastly followed by the jade green transparent stem. As for the roots, they were not exposed. On his palm, the original dark green tattoo was gone, only leaving behind traces of dark green lines. It represented the intertwining of the grass with Fang Yuan's palm. It was the rank 2 grass goo 9 leaf vitality grass. Right now, Fang Yuan's palm was like a piece of land, and a 9 leaf vitality grass was growing on top of it, like the exquisite art made of jade stone carvings. Fang Yuan stretched out his right hand's finger and plucked the leaves. With every piece of round leaf that he plucked, Fang Yuan could feel a slight pain himself, like the feeling of pulling his hair. After the nine pieces were plucked and placed at the bedside by Fang Yuan, there was only the bare stem of the nine leaf vitality grass left on his palm. Fang Yuan continued to deploy his primeval essence. The light red colored rank 2 primeval essence continued to rise from his palm like a cloud of mist, and covered the jade green stem. The stem continued to absorb the primeval essence, and eventually a bud started to grow from deep within the stem. This budding was pinkish green, small, delicate, and very fragile, breaking upon contact. Fang Yuan continued to use his primeval essence, and the bud grew bigger, its color deepening. 
eventually it grew into a piece of dark green color, a completely mature leaf. I used up 20% of my primeval essence. Fan Yuan inspected his aperture and concluded. He only had 44% primeval essence in his sea, that meant that he could only create two vitality leaves at one go. After creating another piece, Fan Yuan grabbed a piece of primeval stone and rapidly recovered the primeval essence in his aperture. When the primeval essence rose to 40%, he nurtured the vitality leaf again. Rinsing and repeating like this after half a day, he had finally made the 9 leaf vitality grass grow back to 9 full leaves. He did not pluck the leaves this time, but with a thought, kept the nine leaf vitality grass back into his left palm, turning it back into a green insignia. He took the leaves that he plucked and placed them into a small bag, bringing it with him. A piece of vitality leaf was a rank one goo worm, each worth around 50 primeval stones in the market. This meant that with just these nine leaves, it could allow Fan Yuan to earn 450 primeval stones. Of course, he incurred costs in creating them, but excluding costs, he still profited around 400 primeval stones. Among all of the family assets, the most valuable one was no doubt this nine-leaf vitality grass. Owning it was tantamount to owning a gold mine. And this nine-leaf vitality grass had an advantage too it was easy to feed. It only needed water and sunlight to survive, thus there was virtually no cost in raising it. To Fan Yuan, he could give up all the other family assets, but for this nine-leaf vitality grass, he needed to grasp it firmly in his hands. Of course, this type of nine-leaf vitality grass goo was not owned by Fan Yuan alone. In the village, others held this grass goo as well. In fact, there were five nine-leaf vitality grass goo that was collective property owned by the clan. Every day there were specialized goo masters whose missions were to create large numbers of vitality leaves. To Fan Yuan, this is a good thing. If he alone had the nine leaf vitality grass, the clan would definitely strike and buy this grass goo by force. Just like how Gu Yu Ching Shu represented the clan and came to buy his liquor worm. Precious goo like liquor worm, black and white boar goo and the nine leaf vitality grass, the clan higher UPS all wanted to control it and make it useful for the whole clan. Three days later, a light ball under Fan Yuan's supervision suddenly exploded, and a new goo worm floated in midair slowly. It was sparkling and translucent bent like a crescent, resembling a piece of water blue crystal. In a nutshell, it was like the moonlight goo that was enlarged in size by twofold. Yet it was not the moonlight goo, but the higher ranking rank 2 moon glow goo. This time, Fan Yuan's fusion succeeded. The moon glow goo is made by fusing a moonlight goo and two little light goo. A little light goo can raise the power of the moon blade by 100%, but two little light goo still raised its power by 100%, this boost was not additive. But the refined rank 2 moon glow goo, its attack power reached 3 times of the moonlight goo. Actually, there are many different recipes to refine the moonlight goo, and it has many advancement paths. Fan Yuan took this path to raise the moonblade's attack power to the limit. The attacking range remained unchanged, it still had a scope of 10 meters. There was a route using the moonlight goo and the stone scar goo to perform fusion, the result would be the moon scar goo. Its attack power remained unchanged, but the range doubled, reaching 20 meters. There was another common route, which was using the moonlight goo with the whirlwind goo to fuse, creating the moon whirl goo. Using it, the moon blade turns from blue to green, and at the same time its attack trajectory becomes curved. Gu Yu Ching Shu took this path. As for Gu Yu Fang Zhen, he used the moonlight goo and jade skin goo to create the moon rhymant. This was a rare route and had an upper limit of rank 5, becoming the Moonlight Treasure King Gu. However, having a rank 5 recipe did not mean it was definitely possible to create a rank 5 Gu worm. Many rank 5 Gu masters did not have a single rank 5 Gu in their possession. What causes this awkward situation is not a lack of ingredients, but the success rate. Gu fusion was not a 100% success rate. The higher the ranking of the Gu worm you are trying to refine, the lower the success rate. In his previous life, Fan Yuan's Spring Autumn Cicada had a success rate of less than 1%, and it failed countless times. Sometimes, he was lucky and less goo worms died, other times, all the goo worms died together. To refine the rank 6 Spring Autumn Cicada, it needed all rank 5 goo worms.
Once these goo worms die, all of Fan Yuan's hard work and accumulation would go up into smoke, becoming an illusion. Fan Yuan failed countless times and started over many times, fusing once again and collecting goo worms and special ingredients all over again. Eventually, he caused too much of a commotion and incurred a public outrage, causing the will of the people to become disorganist, and many deaths forming seas of blood and floating corpses. He was lucky though, as he finally succeeded and obtained the spring autumn cicada. But once he obtained this rank 6 goo, all the righteous cultivators who were eyeing his goo all along came to attack, and before he even got a chance to familiarize himself with the goo, he suicided. Thousands of millions of years, it was because of this disgusting failure rate that caused many high-ranking goo masters to waste their efforts, and go back to square one. The only way was to slightly curb this failure rate. And that is vital goo. No matter the fusion result, failure, or success, the vital goo never dies. At most it gets injured. Why? Many people guessed that it was because the vital goo is the goo master's first goo worm and is linked to the goo master's life, forming a mystical relationship and connection. As long as the goo master is alive, if the vital goo's fusion fails, at most it would be almost dead. Of course, the other goo worms used in the fusion had a possibility of death. Even so, a portion of the goo master's fruits and labor can be preserved and accumulated. The vital goo is the goo master's greatest fortune and fallback. Whatever the vital goo is, it can to a large extent affect the goo master's development path. Conversely, goo masters also find new recipes aggressively to raise the level of their vital goo. Some rank 2 and rank 3 garbage recipes, to goo masters, it worsened their future prospects. When Fan Yuan found that the spring autumn cicada had become his vital goo, why was he so happy? This was why. The spring autumn cicada was an extremely rare goo worm, allowing others to rebirth, it was a heaven defying ability. No matter how it is refined, it will not die. If this was Fan Yuan's previous life where the spring autumn cicada was not his vital goo, if he continued refining, it could potentially die. Spring autumn cicada was rank 6, something many goo masters would never be able to reach in their lifetime. An extremely large number of goo masters did not even have a rank 6 recipe, and are still desperately searching. Spring autumn cicada, although unable to be used to its full potential by the current Fan Yuan, was still his greatest treasure. The flower wine monk's inheritance compared to this, was a difference between heaven and earth.